watching your money. Joining me now is Banrion Capital Management CEO Shana Sissel. Also with me, you just heard from him, Adam Johnson. Shana, let's start with you. Big tech stocks are heading for a rip-roaring rally to end the year. All green across the screen. Wow, look at that. Apple closing in on a $4 trillion market valuation powered by its AI enhancements, which are helping boost iPhone sales. Apple stock slightly higher yet again this morning. Shana, what are your thoughts on this stock? Uh, well, the, the rally makes sense. Obviously, AI, quantum computing is a huge trend for the future that we're still very much in the early innings of. Uh, and that's really the tailwind. Um, we're starting to see it kind of affect things outside of NVIDIA and the MAG7, you see Marvell, you see Broadcom, names like that um, are starting to rally. And uh, as it pertains to Apple, they just, for the first time in as long as I can remember, announced a new product. They have the Apple Home stuff that's coming out. Uh, they have a doorbell, they have like a home center and um, to compete with like Amazon Alexa. And I think that's, that's, that's a pretty interesting piece of news. Um, it might not seem like much, but Apple hasn't put out a new product in forever. Um, and, and that is absolutely one of the things that's helping the stock go higher today. Lots of innovation. Adam, I want to talk to you about micro strategy. Sure. This stock skyrocketing up 420 percent this year. For 2024, amazing. Yeah. Topping almost all U.S. stocks, the company currently holding more than 444,000 bitcoins, now worth nearly $43 billion. Let's take a look at the stock this morning. Early morning trading, it is down slightly. Adam, your thoughts? Well, this stock got as high as $550, and uh, now it's $330, because I think the market is waking up to something that you just highlighted, and that is, uh, yes, they have a lot of Bitcoin. Specifically, they have about $40 billion of Bitcoin on their balance sheet. But here's the thing. The market cap of this stock, in other words, what the market's valuing the stock is, is $80 billion. So 80 billion market cap, take 40 billion off for the Bitcoin, you're left with something that's effectively a $40 billion business, except the business doesn't make money. In theory, they're an AI company, but there are no earnings at MicroStrategy. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, what about revenues? Okay, fine, they make $500 million in revenues, but is $500 million in revenue, is that enough to justify a uh, $40 billion market cap. It's effectively trading at 80 times sales. So think about that, Jerry. You'd have to basically be in business for the next 80 years and not make money, but just generate sales. I'm pretty sure that you, Shana, and I hate to say it, but we're not going to be here in 80 years. And yet the market is valuing this company at 80 years worth of sales. I wouldn't touch this thing. I mean, I keep wanting to sort of. I thought of, you were going to say you loved it. No, <laughs> no. And I think that's why the stock, which shot all the way up to 550, I think actually 574 was the interday high, is now trading at 330 because I think the market is starting to wake up to the fact that something just doesn't add up here. So who, so who was powering that climb? What kind of investor? I think it's day traders and people just trying to buy Bitcoin because, you know, it's right. it's kind of hard to buy Bitcoin, at least in size. Yeah. I mean, yes, you can do it, but my gosh, it's a lot easier to buy a stock and you say, oh, wait a minute, this company owns $40 billion worth of Bitcoin. Go buy MicroStrategy. Oh, instead of buying Bitcoin. Instead of buying Bitcoin. you can't afford That's the right. Bitcoin. And look at Bitcoin now. It's back below um, 100,000. So, you know, it was the move above 100,000 to, I think, what, about 100 Seven that got MicroStrategy up to 550. Now Bitcoin comes down because you're certainly not buying MicroStrategy for its supposed AI business. There are no earnings there. All right, let's move on to uh, the IRS. Adam sending up to $1,400 to nearly 1 million Americans because they qualified for COVID-19 oh, stimulus boy. checks, but they never claimed them way back in 2021. Payments are being sent now and should arrive by late January 2025. Hmm. Yeah. What, do you, what do you make of this, Adam? Uh, well, this is why we need the Doge team. Uh, get rid of the inefficiency in government. Why are we still handing out $1,400 to people? I mean, yes, if you got $1,400, I'm sure you'd be thrilled. So would I. But do I deserve it? No. Nor do you, nor does anybody. <laughs> COVID is over, thank goodness. And uh, that's our money anyway. So it really needs to go back, if not to the Treasury, to all of us. You're so subtle, Adam. I love that. You know, <laughs> piecing out what you really think. You know, it takes a while. Yeah. Thank you so much, Shana. Adam, you're sticking with us all morning.